Hello. Today, we're going to have a look at the specifics and options of the plan step. You have five sub-menus in the plan step. In all the sub-menus, the tab plan will always be available in the right column. It allows you to select what you want to show or not on the 2D plan which will be presented to your customer. The first sub-menu, Symbol, allows you to put symbols on your plan to represent technical elements in 2D. You can find these symbols by using the search bar or in the catalogs. Once you select the symbol, you can position it on the plan and resize it with the options in the right column. The second sub-menu will allow you to choose wall type. For example, you can indicate the presence of water repellent walls, type of insulation or information concerning the type of roof. Once you have selected a wall type, you can apply it to the walls concerned. You can activate the continuous selection if you have several identical walls to type. The third sub-menu allows you, if you wish, to assign different colors to the rooms in order to better distinguish them on your plan. The fourth sub-menu allows you to customize your measurements. You can create new measurements, activate or disactivate the measurements, or move them on your plan. Activating or deactivating a measurement at the plan step will decide if it will appear or not on the blueprint to be presented to the client from your project file. Finally, the fifth sub-menu concerns the table area. Here you will find a list of all your areas represented in the layout step. Note that a room indication means that the area has not been given a name in the layout step in the room type sub-menu. The left column allows you to define if the floor or room concern should be included or excluded from the area table. The right column allows you to include a room or not in the annex areas. That's it. Now, it's your turn. You can contact us if you have any questions. The support team is always there to answer you.